Where do you keep your money? In a brick and mortar bank where someone welcomes you when you walk through the door or have you made the move to an online bank? And if you're thinking about switching or wondering if one option is better than the other, consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss has some information to help you decide. Margaret Talavera recently made the switch to an online bank after using a traditional bank for more than 50 years. So I had that fear of not having somebody. Usually you want to be able to develop a relationship with, you know, the bank employees. Her daughter did too. Everything's yeah. online, checking, savings, everything. They've had a good experience so far. According to a recent bank rate report, about 27% of Americans have their primary accounts with digital banks, while 65% bank with traditional institutions. People may have loyalties to the bank they've been using, but according to experts, it's okay to have multiple banking partners. When we're talking about a relationship with a bank, it's not the same as a marriage. It's okay to have relationships with more than one entity in the banking relationship world. Here are the pros and cons of both options when it comes to savings accounts. Digital banking offers a high annual percentage yield and lower fees. The drawbacks are that it may be harder to make cash deposits. You have limited, if any, ATMs to withdraw money from at no charge and have limited products and services, like loans, for example. On the flip side, traditional banks have larger ATM networks, in-person customer services, and a wider selection of products and services. However, they tend to charge higher banking fees and pay much lower interest rates. Hamrick's advice is to enjoy the best of both worlds. Keep your checking account that may already be linked to your bills and open up an online savings account. You don't have to totally break up uh, with the financial institution you've been doing business with, but you really should try to seek a superior yield on savings because that really is leaving money on somebody else's table. And if you're worried about the safety of conducting your financial business online or you're concerned that you may have bigger risks of having your identity stolen with an online bank, Bankrate says you can lay those fears to rest. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund provide the same coverage of customer deposits at online banks and credit unions as they do for brick-and-mortar institutions. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.